Hello students, hope you all are doing good. It's good to see you here again. Today, we are going to start our chapter number 7 of geography that is major crops. Agriculture is a primary activity in which a lot of people from all over the world are engaged. That we know that it's a kind of very main source of activity on which a lot of people depend throughout the world. However, arable land is limited. Arable land is a land where agriculture is done that we also known as and that we also called farmland. Hence, humans make an informed choice of what to grow on the basis of the needs of the population. Means they just make sure that whatever they are growing is coming to the use of people. A number of physical, economic and social factors influence the choice of crops grown in a particular region. Means the, the crops which are grown in a particular region get affected by various factors. These crops provide food and raw material for the agro-based industry. And these crops provide basic two materials for the agro-based industries. And in this chapter, we will be studying about the major crops grown in the world. So, major crops are as follows. A variety of crops are grown all over the world on the basis of their use. Crops are categorized into food crops, commercial crops, plantation crops, beverage crops and fiber crops. So students, we will study in details that what these crops are and like what categories and what kind of uh, crops come under them. So let's focus on our very first heading of major crops that is food crops. The crops which are grown for the purpose of consumption are called food crops means we consume them. The food crops include cereals like rice, wheat, maize and millets. Rice. The most cultivated crop in the world is rice as it forms the stable diet of more than half of the world means a good quantity of people depend on them. Rice is cultivated in tropical and subtropical regions of the world. The cultivation of rice requires means it is grown mostly in tropical and subtropical regions and following are the conditions required by rice to grow. Firstly, hot and humid climate. Second, temperatures of about 25 degrees Celsius during the growing time means when they are growing the temperature should be about 25 degrees Celsius. It can even exceed. Rainfall around 150 to 200 centimeter. Alluvial clay soil with water retention capacity means water stopping capacity. Plenty of standing water while it is growing means a kind of a good irrigation system should be there of water and also large number of laborers. And uh, we know that China is the largest producer of rice. Other rice producing countries are India, Bangladesh, Japan, North and South Korea, Sri Lanka, Brazil, Egypt and the USA. In India, West Bengal is the leading producer of rice. We in, means in India, West Bengal produces the maximum number of rice, maximum quantity of rice, followed by Uttar Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. And Uttar Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh come on number 2 and 3 respectively. Coming on our next heading that is wheat. Wheat is the second most cultivated crop in the world. It grows in countries located in the mid-latitudes and the dry subtropical regions where neither it's Neither there is too much of rainfall nor there is too much of heat. Means a kind of moderate temperature is there. The cultivation of uh, wheat requires the following. Rolling or undulating plain areas. Means there should be plain areas so as to grow a let dust laden uh, crop of wheat. Then moderate temperatures between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. The temperature should be equalized. And moderate rainfall about 50 to 75 centimeter during the growing season means when they are actually growing then the temperature and the rainfall should be in between 50 to 75 centimeter should range in between. Cool and moist weather during the growing season and bright sunshine at the time of harvesting means while they are growing the temperature should be cool but while they are about to be harvested the temperature should be something that they should be a kind of bright sunshine so that they can the crop can flourish well. Frost free weather for around 100 days means there should not be any kind of frost for maximum of 100 days so as to make the crop better. And black soil and well drained loamy soil are more important so as to make the soil and uh, crop more valuable and more productive. And irrigation facilities in regions with dry climate. Irrigation facilities should be there so as to make the crop more productive. Weed is extensively grown in the USA, Canada, Russia, Australia. China, India, Argentina, Ukraine and South Africa. These are the regions where wheat is mostly grown. In India, wheat is grown in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. In India, these are the regions where wheat is grown in access. Then comes our next heading that is maize. 
स्टूडेंट्स कीप इन माइंड लाइक दीज हेडिंग्स वॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स डेट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड इज द टेम्परेचर द क्लाइमेट द रेनफॉल सिस्टम एंड द प्लेस एंड द काइंड ऑफ सॉयल दे आर ग्रोइंग एंड दे रिक्वायर सो एज टू ग्रो सो लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर नेक्स्ट हेडिंग दैट इज मेज मेज इज नोन एज कॉर्न इन अमेरिका एंड मक्का इन इंडिया इट इज़ यूज बोथ एज अ फूड एंड फॉर अ क्रॉप द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मेज रिक्वायर्स द फॉलोइंग अनजुलेटिंग रिलीफ दैट इज दैट द रिलीफ शुड बी देयर मॉडरेट टेम्परेचर ऑफ अबाउट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस ड्यूरिंग द ग्रोइंग पीरियड एक्चुअली वेन द क्रॉप इज ग्रोइंग इन दिस मीन्स वेदर इट इज इन प्रोसेस इट शुड बी समवेयर अबाउट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस मॉडरेट रेनफॉल अबाउट फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी सेंटीमीटर दैट शुड रेन इन बिटवीन फिफ्टी टू सेवेंटी सेंटीमीटर फर्टाइल एंड वेल ड्रेन क्ले सॉइल क्ले सॉइल इज मोर प्रेफरेबल एंड मोस्ट प्रेफरेबल सो एज टू ग्रो द क्रॉप मेज इज ग्रोन एक्सटेंसिवली ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड यू एस ए इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर एंड एक्सपोर्टर ऑफ मेज इन द वर्ल्ड चाइना रैंक सेकेंड इन मेज प्रोडक्शन अदर मेज प्रोडक्शन कंट्रीज आर ब्राजील अर्जेंटीना कैनेडा साउथ अफ्रीका मैक्सिको एंड इंडिया दीज आर द अदर कंट्रीज विच आर ऑल्सो अ पार्ट एंड प्ले अ वाइटर रोल इन प्रोड्यूसिंग मेज एंड एक्सपोर्टिंग एंड इम्पोर्टिंग इन द पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री एंड इन इंडिया मोस्टली मेज कम्स फ्राम उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार एंड कर्नाटका बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स रिच सॉइल फर्टिलिटी एंड क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन देन कम्स अवर नेक्स्ट हेडिंग दैट इज मिलेट्स मिलेट्स आर कोर्स ग्रेन्स रागी जोहार बाजरा एंड सोरगम आर द वेरियस ग्रेन्स दैट आर रेफर टू एज मिलेट्स मीन्स दीज कैंड ऑफ कैटेगरीज कम एंड फॉल अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ मिलेट्स मिलेट्स आर यूज एज फूड क्रॉप्स एंड फीड फॉर लाइफ स्टॉक लाइफ स्टॉक मीन्स एनिमल्स एंड कैटल्स दैट वी हैव दे आर ग्रोन इन द सेमी एरिड पार्ट्स ऑफ द ट्रॉपिकल एंड सब ट्रॉपिकल रीजन्स एंड द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ मिलेट्स रिक्वायर द फॉलोइंग हॉट एंड ड्राई क्लाइमेट विद टेम्परेचर रेंजिंग बिटवीन ट्वेंटी डिग्री एंड थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस द टेम्परेचर नीडेड इज हॉट एंड ह्यूमिड एंड सॉरी हॉट एंड ड्राई एंड लाइक द टेम्परेचर शुड रेंज फ्राम ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस टू थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस रेनफॉल नॉट मोर दैन थर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर मीन्स रेनफॉल शुड नॉट बी देयर एंड शुड नॉट एक्सीड द टाइम लिमिट ऑफ मोर दैन थर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड लेस वर्टाइल सॉइल शुड बी देयर and actually millets form a part of food crops in asia africa and russia but in the usa and europe it is grown as a fodder crop to feed animals fodder crop are the crops which are used to feed animals in india millets are cultivated in rajasthan uttar pradesh haryana gujarat maharashtra and karnataka and students one more thing that you might have noticed uh, in the above headlines that uttar pradesh is mostly used in the terms of agriculture because of its good fertility of the soil and rich variety of crops which can be grown due to its temperature and rainfall salinity then coming on our next heading that is commercial crops commercial crops are those crops which are directly sold in the market so as to earn benefit and money commercial crop cash crops are those crops which are cultivated for sale either in the raw form or a semi processed form cash crops provide a valuable source of income to the farmers that i have already told first heading is sugar cane Sugar cane is an important crop cultivated in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world. They grow in large stalks measuring from three to seven meters in height. Means this is a kind of specification that has been defined over here. They are grown from stem cutting of a mature cane called seeds. Means when we uh, cut a stem of a sugar cane, then that is known as seeds. The sugar cane juice is used for making products like sugar, molasses, ethanol, and jaggery. The crushed fiber. called pegas is used in the manufacturing of paper and fiber boards means the left out part of sugar cane after the extraction of juices and everything else that is sent to the recycle industry where paper is, is extracted and paper is prepared from the waste products the cultivation of sugar cane requires the following warm and humid climate with temperature around 20 degree celsius the temperature should be 20 degree celsius and the climate should be warm and humid rainfall above of about 75 to 120 cm because it's very important for sugarcane crops to have maximum of 75 to 120 cm of rainfall and if rainfall is not there then people even farmers provide irrigation system so as to get a continuation of and a proper supply of water a continuous cool and dry season for ripening a, like men suppose if they are grown in a hot summer season then they will be ripened means cultivated in and harvested in Winter season, so as to get a better yielding product. Sandy silty and clay alluvial soil. This is the type of soil which is used the, for growing this kind of crops. The leading producer of sugarcane is Brazil, followed by India and China.
and uh, other sugarcane producing countries are Cuba, in West Indies, Mexico, Pakistan, Australia, Indonesia, Fiji, Philippines, Hawaii Islands and South Africa. These countries also contribute in producing and also in the production of sugar canes. In India, sugar cane is grown in Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Maharashtra. In these regions of India, Uttar Pradesh is basically and mainly grown. Next comes rubber. Rubber is obtained from rubber trees as a sticky juice or latex. Means it's first obtained from the trees of rubber plant or rubber trees and in the form of latex. Latex is a kind of sticky juice. The barks of the rubber trees are cut and small cups are attached to them using wires. Means like they are a simple cut is made in a tree so that the liquid uh, that is latex can drip out from the tree and can be collected in a cup which is just attached next to the tree. The sap of the trees is collected in these cups. This process is called tapping and the process is called tapping. You can underline the following word tapping. Tires, tubes and industrial products are made from rubber. Rubber plantation are found in the tropical regions of the world. The cultivation of rubber requires following. Hot and wet climate. Average temperature between 25 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius. Well distributed rainfall throughout the year ranging from about 300 to 200 to 300 centimeter rainfall is a very big concept and a very big consideration over here because they need maximum of 200 to 300 centimeter of rainfall bright sunshine and absence of strong winds wind should not be there and sunshine should be there present in excess slopes where water does not get collected means they need water but not in that excess Fertile, well-drained soil and large numbers of laborers are also needed so as to collect the latex. Now comes fiber crops. Crops that provide us with fiber like kind of threads, materials that we known as that are known as fiber crops. For example, cotton, jute and many more. So let's know about our first heading that is cotton. Cotton is the most important fiber crop. Cotton provides raw material for the textile industries that we know and which is why we are capable of wearing cotton clothes as industries convert them into finished products and its seeds are used for extracting oil and the you and the seeds of cotton are used for extracting oil from them. The quality of raw cotton depends upon the length of the fiber. The, the longer the cotton the better the cloth as there are three types of categories of cotton long staple medium staple and short staple. The best among them is long staple. As I told, the longer the cotton fiber, the better the quality of the cloth will be. High temperatures between 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius during the growing period. This is the kind of thing that is considered for growing cotton crops. Rainfall ranging from 60 centimeter to 100 centimeter with frequent showers. Means continuation shower should be there at regular interval of times. A prolonged frost free period of around 200 days. Same over here that there should not be any frost for 200 days and clear and sunny weather during the time of ripening in the cotton balls. Like there should be a kind of clean shiny sky when the cotton balls are actually being ripened up. Well drained black soil. Cotton production is very well in the kind of field where black soil is present. The long staple is grown in Egypt, Sudan, Peru and the USA. The medium staple is grown in Brazil and Argentina. The short staple is grown in China and also in India. All the three varieties are found in India. And in India, cotton is grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh. These regions have good production of cotton. Next coming on our next heading that is jute. Jute is also known as the golden fiber. Underline the word golden fiber. The jute fiber is removed from the stalks of the plants means from the barks of the plants and jute is mainly and mainly and mostly used for making packaging material means for packing purposes the cultivation of jute requires the following hot and wet climate and temperature of more than 25 degrees celsius rainfall of over 150 centimeter fertile alluvial soil of flood plains and detailed deltas and large number of laborers deltas why just because jute is mostly found near the deltas of Brahmaputra and India subcontinental delta. India is the largest producer of jute in the world followed by Bangladesh. Other countries that produce jute are Thailand, Malaysia, Myanmar, Uzbekistan, China, Nepal and Brazil. In India, jute is cultivated in West Bengal, Bihar, Assam, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. These are the regions in India where jute is basically grown.
next coming on our next heading that is beverage crops beverage crops are those crops which we cannot consume directly but we can sell them for money and they are also known as cash crops best example of beverage crops are tea and coffee so let's know about tea and coffee tea tea is one of the most popular beverages throughout the world tea is prepared from the leaves of a tropical shrub which grow on the hill slopes this is why it just it is most common because most of the people prefer this as the britishers were the one who brought that into existence especially in india and since after then people started preferring them the tea plants are pruned regularly for easy plucking the workers have to pluck two tender leaves and a bud for each stem because this work is mostly done by a hand so as to get a beneficiary or a kind of punish product and tea comes in many flavors proper rolling fermenting and blending contribute to the variety of flavors the cultivation of tea requires sloping land so that water drains off means they don't require water to collect at a particular place temperatures of about 25 degrees celsius but not more than that i guess well distributed annual rainfall of about 350 cm they need rainfall but they don't want want water to be collected at a particular place because that can be harmful for the plant and shrubs well drained fertile soil and shade from direct sunlight for this large trees are grown along with the tea plants means they don't need sunlight in excess so that's why trees are grown in a belt so that they can give them shades the largest tea producer is china followed by india sri lanka kenya japan indonesia and bangladesh whereas in india trees grown on large tea estates estates means areas on the hill slopes of darjeeling assam munnar Kangra and Nilgiri these are the regions in india where tea is basically grown then comes our next heading that is coffee like tea coffee is also a popular beverage coffee is cultivated for its beans means for a kind of food that it gives the coffee beans are roasted and ground for brewing ground means they are just mixed up or and got converted into powder form so that we can directly consume them by adding them in a suitable form with a substitute product it is cultivated on the lower hill slopes of the tropical regions is regions may these are kind of grown there are three main varieties of coffee plants arabica liberica and robusta the cultivation of coffee requires temperature between 14 degrees celsius and 26 degrees celsius the temperature should remain in between these ranges rainfall ranging from 150 to 250 cm well drained loamy soil with high humus and shade from direct sunlight the same as of tea but a slight difference is compared to the rain compared to the temperatures and rainfalls brazil is the largest producer and exporter of coffee in the world other coffee producing countries are california colombia vietnam indonesia ethiopia indonesia india angola mexico and east africa the usa is the largest importer of coffee in the world in india coffee is grown in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu these are the regions where coffee is basically grown and whereas in india coffee is basically and mainly grown in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu thank you for paying attention students hope you all have understood the concept in the plots and the more important regions where crops are growing and the types of crops and especially the chapter of major crops so study well if you have not understood anything we can discuss the same in the online classes and if you have any doubt then you can ping me up on chat chat box of mcb applications and also you can access youtube videos and some creative contents which are already present on google so study well take care and stay safe thank you